Welcome back. Okay. This shall hopefully be a nice, safe puzzle solving episode. No monsters. Had enough monsters in the last episode, so time for break. So. Stuck. 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 So, by the law of video games, mirror this setup in the next room. Medium, oh, low, medium, oh, low, high, medium, low, high, medium, low, high, medium. Okay, going into the next room. Let's see, which one is this? Medium. Or you a little bit? Which one is you? You're high. And you're low. Burakasha. The laws of video games, once again, serve me well. Open the door. Uh, I got an idea. Can I fit through there? Sweet. So, I'm guessing another set of puzzles? Wooden crank? I'd prefer a metal one. Okay. I'm guessing I need to get this down. Ooh, Rakusha. Are you talking in my head? That's creepy. Look, this one's already down. I'm guessing this would be the one that tell me what to mirror, huh? Another tinder for my collection and a note. The work I have put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning crudely replaces or replaced by pressured steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It changes me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, 
I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope it will have even the slightest hint of the power found in a traveler's locket. Making a clock. Another pipe. So I'm guessing the pipes are needed for the last room. Sweet. And so far, so good. No monsters. Probably jinxing myself right there, but... Hey. What you gonna do? Face them as they come. Get in there. Pipe. Get in there. And pipe. Get in there. Okay. What am I supposed to emulate that? I'll go ahead and use one of my tinders. Connection, 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 connection. Okay. As opposed to over here. That's a lot of holes. Your chest. Ah. Okay. Let's see. I'll take you. Hmm. Okay. I'll take you. Okay. And I'll take you. Um, let's see. Yeah. There we go. The clockwork is working. I think I repaired the machine. Now to go. And now is the time when monsters would usually appear. <laughs> and now I've got a spare part. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to use it for, but okay. Entrance to cistern. Alexander knew there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the vitae. That much was certain. <laughs> hey. That's, that's just not right. Well, I guess I gotta go this way. Fix it the rest of the way. Or I could be genius and fix it beforehand anyway. What can I fix it with? What can I fix it with? A push. Who the hell am I going to push it with? Are there any spare rocks down there? Yes. Okay. And up the ladder. And 
Eh. Shit. Well, that's all for this episode, so tune in next time as I figure out how to lower that bridge and then resume being chased by monsters that want to eat my face. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. This shall hopefully be a nice safe puzzle solving episode. No monsters. Had enough monsters in the last episode, so time for a break. So. Stuck. 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 So, by the law of video games, mirror this setup in the next room. Medium. Oh, low, medium. Oh, low, high, medium. Low, high, medium. Low, high, medium. Okay, going into the next room. Let's see, which one is this? Medium. Or you a little bit? Which one is you? You're high. And you're low. Burakasha. The laws of video games once again serve me well. Open the door. Uh, I got an idea. Can I fit through there? Sweet. So, I'm guessing another set of puzzles? 